Longtime Chattanooga TV news anchor Bob Johnson has died following his battle with Parkinson's disease. He was a great friend and a giant in local broadcasting, working at Channel 9 over four decades. Calvin Sneed, who came out of retirement to help us out while our Latrice Curry recovered last year, worked with Bob Johnson for many years. And Calvin joins us now in the studio today to talk about his legacy and to share with us some of his memories. Calvin? I tell you, Cindy, when you think of Bob Johnson, there are they're just certain names that, that ring true when it comes to getting the news out there and getting it right and getting it good. I mean, Bob Johnson, I don't, I don't know what else you can say about Bob other than he was the consummate newsman. I mean, I, I think back of, you know, we, we had the same conversation when Mel uh, passed away. And uh, Bob is, is He's one of those, he's, he, I, there's just something about him, something about the way he reads. He's from the old school, what we call, what we call old school uh, in news. You know, the, the Walter Cronkites, the Eric Severides, the Harry Reasoners, the Huntley Brinkley, John Chancellor, you know, those guys. He came from that mold. And, and I'll have to say that uh, uh, I, I've known Bob for years. I was here back in the early 70s, and I was here for three years, and I actually predated him by about 30 days. I left to go back to Knoxville to UT to go to school, and Bob was hired 30 days later at Channel 9, and then he went on to stay here for 30 years, and I mean, he just absolutely changed the face of news in Chattanooga. I mean, he was just, he was just synonymous with news. I understand so many things about Bob's legacy, and we've all followed him and, of course, admired him. But also, there were so many really funny stories that he began to share when some of us got together over the years after some folks had retired. A lot of fun stories between him and Daryl Patterson and Don Welch. Can you share with us any of that? Well, I have one. I have one funny story uh, that actually was just actually between. I see, it involves the word actually. See, and I, and I do that. I do that. It involves the word yep. actually. I used to sit down and I would write stories, and Bob would change the copy of the, on those stories as anchor people do. You know, you expect that. I do it <laughs> even now. But I would write the word actually into a script. And Bob hated that. He would come in, the first thing he'd say to me, hey, Calvin, how you doing? Come into work. How you doing, Calvin? And then he'd lean over my shoulder as if he's reading my computer screen, and he would say, you haven't written the word actually in a script. And I said, no, no, I've, I've, I've not done that. What, what I would do was sneak it in there, and then at the, you know, somewhere in the newscast, you'd hear him go, Calvin! <laughs> and he would put that in there. But uh, Cindy, I, I got to tell you, uh, Bob was like a big brother to me. And again, I've known him for years. And somewhere, I'd like to think that somewhere there's a newscast going on that's got Bob Johnson and Bill Markham and Mort Lloyd and John Mercer. Mm -hmm. And they're all reading the same newscast all at the same time. Hanging out now, together. That's one heck of a newscast, folks. And you mentioned Mel. Some folks may not know her as that, but Mary, Mary Ellen, Ellen Loker, yeah. of course. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, Don Welch is doing the weather. Well, yeah, and cracking the jokes on the side. Absolutely. We're just, we're just going to miss him. We are. I mean, he's part of our family. He is our family. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not just in TV, no. but in all of Chattanooga. Yeah. We'll be talking about him for a long time right now, just with lots of memories. Calvin, thank you so much for coming in today to join and share those stories with us. We have more on Bob's life and career in the WRCB app, and we'll be right back.